Now then, in a um, quite an extraordinary um, way that I'm excited about this one, as I progress through my words, pictures and film, there may be a time when I want to represent myself on screen um, as this red logo, which I think I've chosen. And you can see already that uh, the fella, the red fella, is in the screen and is annoyingly um, in the shot. But the point of it is, is about this red fella. So let's get started on... Uh, this video and what we're going to do first of all is have a little look up to um, me searching for an on-screen presence you know there's no point in me putting myself on the webcam unless it's absolutely needed which most of the time for a teacher it is not so I put in teacher silhouette and what we can see here straight away looking at the images are they are pretty um, this, this is interesting before we start because when I say pretty, when I did this the other day and I found the actual image that I wanted, what we didn't have um, along the top was um, all these like female youth classroom. So I put in the word in Google search, which of course will be a separate video, meaning we've got teacher silhouette, but look at the labels that we've got along here. It's almost giving me occupations or um, categories of people and they're all changing in colors. That must be new. It's the first time I've actually seen it. I've got to investigate this. But let's get back down to this video because we can't teach anything without coming off the track. Because if you are curious, which you should be, then things happen. Now we look down, we've got tons of black and whites. And I'm thinking, what could I possibly use? What could I possibly use? Oh, hold on a moment. What's this fella here? So it, it says open clip art, um, which is interesting because the file that I actually chose was this file which is a Wikimedia Commons file and it comes looking like this and then we come down and we look at the licensing which the person who's created it which let's be fair and you know a hat tip to that person they've waived any copyright but you know let's be fair about it I mean I could go in and or you could go in and you know we've got some circle shapes here rectangles anyway this is the point of the video getting down to it now what we do is we've opened up Google Docs Google Drawings and what I want to do is there might be some situations where if I of course have a red background then we're not going to see the teachery fellow here at all so what we need to do is to recolor it and this is the point of this video very very easy what we notice that if you pick um, a arrow here that we have oh not, not that one I love doing this because um, we're making it up as we go along. So if I get a new shape look and I want to recolor that, the only way that I can recolor it is by clicking the fill color and changing all of these colors here. Now this is very much in contrast to the way we have uploaded or added an image which is a complete image and it's red. So what we need to do, should we go to image options and we've got recolor and on the right hand side here, the moment you click it, we can have our fella here on loads and loads of different colors straight away so if I wanted to say you know really get a say grayscale image then I can get it like that and that is it done so it's a very very easy way to recolor and change things as they go now the word of warning here is what I would do and if you want to reset it by the way is you just go and say no recolor and then we have transparency where I can dial that in look and it goes transparent which is lovely for overlays if I want to see through I can add some brightness I think oh yes so bright you can't see it and darkness so that's interesting as well because at zero in the middle if I let just drag it along come on yeah there you go it's red and I've got contrast as well and then reset the adjustments now the point of it is have a play around because this could save you a ton of time now what I've done is a little Google search here image search and then I've typed in um, primary colors and what I've got uh, just to speed up the video is an idea of what the primary colors are now you know these as red blue and green and we've got yellow magenta and cyan and white in the middle but the point of it is is have a little play around with it and so that if you want to look be careful because when you get some uh, colors and this one is a good example here where I'm um, got a yellow arrow the moment we get this yellow arrow and color it we lose different colors and I'll demonstrate it here with the primary wheel and that is that we go in look and notice the uh, the attention here to the yellow if we choose certain colors yellow just becomes transparent because it's a very light color so my tip here 
is have a muck about with it so you can see what they will represent when they're coloured. This is a fast way of using Google Drawings, which I think is a phenomenal, phenomenal program. So I'm going to leave you back with one to say that this is part of the newly created words, pictures and film, of course, not the new channels, but just my smaller videos. And maybe, maybe not, you will see me on screen. If you do, this is an upcoming video called Three Kings, where I've taken a video and put in a um, overlay of a still image and then my silver effects black and white. So I'm going to, what shall I do? What shall I do? Let's finish with that one, shall we? See you next time.